Hello everyone, hi, I'm Extra Cheese 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3 Part 31. In the previous video, we made it to Hamel Village and confronted Duvali and Charlie, who we fought uh, basically just the one good time last time, and fight fight kind of a pain in the ass, at least at the start. Um, well, it's a, it's a pain in the ass at the start because of all the ads and the fact that they get about 14 moves in a row. And B, it's a pain at the end because if Shirley ever ults, you instantly lose. Even through Blue Orchestra, which is cool. I'm glad that ability exists. Let's, uh, let's get back at it. Give them hell! Crimson Freak! Let's go! So here's the question. How do we want to do this? You guys are, in, okay, you, you're technically, you can be death blowed, but it's such a low percentage chance. I mean, that could be what you do, is you just, like, ult first turn with Fee until she kills both Cougars. So it's an incredibly low chance of it happening, though. So what do we want to do? I mean, we definitely want to... And we're going to Dragonfall. We'll just go ahead and do it. Let's finish this! <laughs> it's my turn! And that healed him as well. You took like, way more damage. But did you get counterattacked beforehand? I can't remember. Because the opening salvo wasn't that bad. I mean, I did have to pop Elliot ult to live, but which doesn't heal for 100% HP, so that got nerfed as well. Like, I mean, it's just everything about Elliot got absolutely dumpstered. A man is suffering from success for being so good in the previous games. Now here's the question. I think you just pop, get BP. Pop him, get BP alt. Sit. Now! Do I wanna ult? I think I do. Get the speed down. My blade. There's a no. slight chance you break. Ha! Seventh slash, fallen leaves. Help, help, help. You did break them this time. No, that didn't break them last Got time. It. I don't really know why it did this time, but. And you could valiant hearts. I mean, they still have a large amount of HP left. Agate's strength is buffed, but I kind of want to get CP on Reem. Your speed is super down. It's down! Your speed? Let's... Hey, not bad! I've had it! Not bad, but I'm gonna get serious now. I'll show you it. Okay, guys, gang, gang, gang. Oh Let's my go. god. Time to pick up the pace. You're done. Dang. Sorry, God damn it. Everyone. I'll take over. I'll handle this. Burn! Valiant Heart! Let's go! <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> don't yeah. use me. Let's go! Azure Cleaver! <laughs> Behold. Ah! 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 
Dead Phoenix Blade! <laughs> Honestly, he was careless. I think the way you do this fight is you just burst them down with s crafts. I think you you just get to the point where you get a like you have to get a start where you don't need Elliot, which is kind of hard, and then you just start with Laura out, break them with Agate while they're broken. Because it, it basically involves, like, using Agate's Brave Order to break everyone. Then once they're broken, hope you can attack again afterwards to get the BP. Then activate Valiant Hearts while everyone's strength is still buffed. And then do the rest of your S-Crafts. It just, it seems like it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Uh, like, it's not necessarily that hard. It's just you have to get the perfect start. So I think that's going to be what we're going to try and do. It does involve getting 200 CP on Laura. Ugh. So, BRB. Yourself. Okay, I mean, this is this is like a really good start, go! maybe? Like, Green's getting to go early. Okay, never mind. They're just all going to go instead of him. Speed down. It's the best of the downs. Okay, you could just die instead of Are you okay? Thanks. Are you okay? Thanks. Let's okay. go. So we almost get to play the game. So Crimson Break. Give them hell! Crimson Break! I'm up! And then I think we just start with this. Because we know we're going to do it regardless. Let's go! So major changes. We gave Skull to Agate. Now he wasn't at high... Well, I guess he's kind of at high HP. I don't know if it actually gave him the, the thing. Then you gotta heal yourself. Little Freddy special. Just because the seal is super annoying. Ha! I'll handle this. Her moving behind us like really fucking sucks. I mean, this lowers speed. Movement down fun. could be Damn. something as well. Damn. Okay, you do have the lighter. Uh, you doing that again? Sucks. Okay. Where'd she go? So they're all kind of groups now. Burn, valiant heart. I can't lose. I think you just used your buff strength to pop them and lock them. My blade, calm as <laughs> ah! Ah! seventh slash, fallen leaf. Now, the man's still alive. Shirley is going to get to go, or is she? Or is she? It's delicious. Now, if you can just do about 30k damage. If you can just do about 30k. Yeah. Why is breath such a god awful ability? I mean, you could switch in fee. But she's not gonna do 16k. God, it's so close. I mean, their speed's in the dumpster. I don't think that really means anything, but... You think Fee can do 16k damage unbuffed? <laughs> Now, 
This heals everyone. I didn't realize that cured KO too. God, if Agate could just go again. If we, if we could just uh, have you swap turns with Agate, that'd be great. Let's try and... I think you do this. Arcus, activate! Huh? Then this, so they don't heal. Thanks! <sighs> Thanks! Hey, not bad! And then we just hope... Not bad. You don't but I'm one shot get us. Serious now. If we I'll get show you an open. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> we actually kind of get a shot. Oh, you heal as well. I think you literally have to one shot Shirley before she gets to play the video game. Good luck! Hmm. Got it. Kill Duvali? Like, like Duvali's dead. It's just Shirley's the problem. Let's go, raging fire formation. Let's go. Uh, yeah! Let's do this now. Young. Uh, now, lead the crusade. The region did put him back at high HP. This this could break. There's actually a chance this breaks. With the extra break damage for them being enhanced, plus he has Scald now. Let's finish this! It's not gonna do as much damage as I would have liked, though. I forgot it's not 200 CP. Which seems like there's like an even bigger difference between a hundred CP ult and a 200 CP ult. Wow, that did fucking nothing. Let's go, Testarossa! Time to pick up the pace! I really, Let's really thought down. that would break. Bam. And that does oh hit God. everyone. Everyone? Leave it to me! Let's go! There's also something to the fact that we get that whoever switches in gets to go instantly. There's something there as well. Oh yeah, because they take half damage in their enhanced. I forgot about that until. So an alternate strategy, since it doesn't seem like bursting them down is possible. The alternate strategy would be just using the first, like trying to use, like saving BP for uh, whatever Agate's thing is called. Facing you, buddy. <sighs> Thanks. All right. Not enough. Pre pretty sure we've lost. Ha! 
Thanks. I don't want to talk about I it. I can still fight. I don't want to talk about it, okay? You can't do it because you'll die. Thanks. Okay, now we're in a world of hurt. It's my turn. Oh, you got sealed. Oh, we could have used this. I don't think we're going to be able to come out of this. Because their break gauge is reset, right? If they stay, because I'm pretty sure they reset when they exit enhance. If we had like another Tural Balm, maybe. Yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty sure you still die. <laughs> Deadly storm. Yeah. Damn it. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Deadly storm. Sorry, everyone. That was fairly close. I think we have to revise it slightly. We have the right Let's idea. Get... Oh my god, we actually got a good turn order again. Go! No freezes. God okay? damn it. Take that! How about that? That was actually a super good turn order. Everyone. And then, well, you know, you saw it happen. My turn. Damn. Unforgivable. Damn. Damn it. Yeah. I was careless. Got it. Oh, hello. Mm. Um. Got it. Sneaking mission. Start. <laughs> My turn. Just, just buy time. Sneaking mission. Maybe they'll give up. Start. Maybe they'll give up. Hmm. Got it. I mean, you could technically do this forever, almost with Gladiator Belt. <laughs> Sneaking mission. Start. Let's go. Make it quick! Zephyr wing! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. My turn. <laughs> Weak. Take that! <laughs> Let my guard down. Okay, this is not a good turn order. <laughs> what? Damn. Wait, why is Elliot out? Unforgivable! Oh, I forgot to change it so <laughs> Elliot wasn't out. Not on my watch! <laughs> Damn. It's my turn! We can play with this then. Give them hell! Crimson up. Break! Let's go. Now we didn't get the extra damage from him being at max, but for real? How dare you? It's my turn. Is there a universe in which breath isn't garbage? No. I can't get over how bad Elliot's ult is. Because it only heals you for 50%. It's like actually just a slightly better version of Holy Song for potentially like 
significantly more cost. Please hear my song. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Who made this? Ha! Oh, the crit. I really want to go for it, but you're you're not gonna get to make use of it. I really ha. wanted the CP. Yeah. Unforgivable. Let's go. Who are you linked with? Get back! Yeah! Now! An opening! <laughs> My turn! We break them again? There's no way, because they're gonna enhance here. So we save it. We do this. Give them hell! Crimson My break! Turn. Holy song. Please hear my they song. They will enhance. Thanks. Thanks. Or they should. How about okay, or they could not. Are you okay? <sighs> Thanks. Wouldn't it be funny if you enhanced? She just can't but I'm go instantly. Get serious now. I'll show you another. Okay. We have a shot. No freezes. God. Unforgivable. This is actually fine. S sorry, everyone. Let's go. I mean, it's not fine, but it's like manageable. You have two turns of strength. Uh, this is this is not good. We're not gonna be able to break them. Well, we could try this. See how much it does. Break! How dare you! It did. Let's actually, go. it probably fucking healed them. It did such little damage. My turn. How do I swap? You got this. Mm, got it. I mean, this would let you live, but like at what cost? So I think we've lost, I just want to experiment. Will this still hit Fee? Like, is this a full room wide? Like, could we potentially send someone on a runaway mission and survive? Cause I mean, we could try and have just, like, I, I don't know. We Let's go, Testarossa. Look okay, that does hit the entire screen. Pick up the pace. <laughs> Oh, I was careless. Leave it to me. My turn. Oh, no, kill yourself. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Let's get at it. All right. Now, I think yourself. we have the right idea. It's just it didn't quite work out there. <laughs> Are you okay? Thanks. What we probably want to do. Are you okay? Thanks. Is once they enhance, try and switch in fee if possible. Are you okay? Thanks. Damn. Damn you. All right. I think that's what we're gonna try and do. I'll show you. <laughs> Got it. I mean, let's try it. Uh, I have a feeling that the way this works is that instead of her using her S craft and it hitting no one. Because in theory, since no one is targetable, she should just not be able to use it. I believe that's how, I mean, that's how I would think this works, but let's figure it out. Make it quick. 
Zephyr Wing! Got it. And then you just want to like try and delay your stealth for longer? I mean, we could just sack fee. I don't really want to sack fee though. Okay, you could do this again. Just like st st stealth yourself again. Jokes on you, I got Stop another freaking stealth. Let's go. Jokes on you, I got another stealth. Stuck. It's my turn. Because if she just doesn't cast her ability, which is kind of how I thought it would work. But I had some copium that it wouldn't. So the first person to exit stealth after she goes gets deleted. Preferably, I would prefer that to, in theory, be Elliot. But I don't think we're able Let's to go. accomplish that. I think Reen has to die. Sneaking mission. Start! Yeah! Oh, wait, no. Yeah. It's actually going to be both of them. Actually, this is fine. So we, we've made it through the one-shot phase. The main issue is that we've done literally no fucking damage. Let's go, Testarossa! Time to pick up the pace! You're done! Bang! Sorry, everyone. My turn. And we could just keep... I mean, our, 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 our invisibility is about to wear out. Laura is still invincible for a while. And Reen will get back up at like a decent amount of HP. And we should... I really want to kill you. Can you hit both of them? No. Let's go! Yeah. Are you kidding me? There! Thanks! Ha! Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Are you kidding me? My turn. Oh, you can't even blue orca strike us. You're dead. We can just stabilize and kill Doodley. Forma! Iron Will Formation! <laughs> Got it. And she gets to keep her stealth. Laura, that is. Thanks! Oh, that's really bad. Take that! Deadly storm! Let my guard down. Let's go! Laura will never get to play this game again. Is that, is that, is that the... Yeah, I mean, you can't even do that. And you gotta kill this man. That did nothing. Sorry. We kind of just threw. But we at least establish. We have careless. to be able to kill the Leave robot. I don't know how My we turn. kill the robot, man. Like we have to kill the robot before we get to this enhanced bullshit that we have to deal with. How about? <laughs> Burn! Huh. Yeah! I mean, like we. I just don't think we were able to be able to recover there in the first place. Damn it! Just because we had done no damage to anybody, but like. So we can try and save for Fee's thing. Someone still has to die, though. So it's like we have two options. A, just sacrifice one person. 
or we could try and do like the much riskier play of breaking someone or trying to break her but that just seems like so fucking impossible because we don't have any CP to use any of our craft abilities and we can't save them the entire because like, it's like if we don't pop our S breaks at the start we get overwhelmed by the wolves Ugh. I kind of want to try the I think the break thing is like would be the way to win Like, I think it would result in an easier win if everything goes right, but it's much harder to execute.
Yeah! How bloody cross! Oh, are you okay? Thanks. It's my turn. Does it matter how much you nerf my boy? Elliot will not back down. Oh my god, he's been nerfed into the fucking ground and he's still actually kind of good. I cannot believe it. The auto tears, the breaths just in time. Everything just. Oh my god, I can't believe we won this. Holy shit. I don't even really know what happened. All I know. I don't know if I was recording it, but basically, because I've kind of stopped and started the recording a lot, but essentially what happened, the, the turning point, everyone died, Elliot came in, had the HP to Blue Orchestra, got to Thalos Reem, they started hitting Reem right as Reem was about to die, got to ult with Elliot, bring everyone else alive. Then it was Elliot's natural turn again, got to breath, and they were all grouped up. Just a truly incredible confluence. Now, if this bitch enhances and kills me, I'm uninstalling. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. That's what's gonna happen. Crimson Slash! Now! I'm actually like, is this all her strength? Granted, if she enhances, that's not gonna do anything. I'm actually like really worried now that I'm about to get like dunked on. My turn. She's so almost dead. Now! An opening! There! Thanks! Thanks! I'll handle this. Have you considered making her not alive anymore? Let's go! Raging fire formation! <laughs> Please stop. For real? Thank you. <laughs> Not bad. You chose the wrong opponent. I mean, like, Elliot is actually like a garbage character, but the lore behind him being the one to save us is amazing. Like, Elliot, like, sucks now, and I kind of hate it. He will maybe get, he would maybe be better if Breath wasn't, like, maybe the most garbage ability in the entire game. Like, the AoE is so fucking tiny. It's pathetic. And the heal is also garbage. With cannon, it's passable, but... I mean, I just can't fathom how badly Elliot has been nerfed. No resounding beat. Holy Song, significantly worse than it used to be. Uh, Detector, it's just like worse than... Uh... Altina's. Altina's is just better. Um... His offensive crafts, those have always been bad, but they're even, I mean, they're kind of like worse now because the not being able to unbalance makes them even worse than normal because unbalancing is so important now. His ult doesn't max heal you. The region, I think, is unchanged. The region's still good, I guess, but the fact that his ult doesn't heal you to max, even when at like 200 CP, is crazy. And that must be a specific difficulty mod change because the text says heal to max. So if it doesn't do that, it's because of the difficulty mod. I don't think Elliot needed to be nerfed. At least in that regard, I think his ult was fine. It was kind of like his niche, but... I just do not get this Master Chords. I mean, that's okay. But... I mean, it actually is good. It does synergize super well with his uh, other ability, but I just don't get recover CP through offensive arts. Like, not only does it seem kind of garbage, it doesn't make any sense for Agate's character. Agate has never been like a a caster. All right, got it. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Nice! I must continue to train. <laughs> Yay, I did it! I did it. That took a long time. It's probably been at least 90 minutes. <laughs> Not bad! I kinda, I don't know. I, I hated the fight until that last attempt when the idea to just, cause like the biggest problem 
is there's no way to really survive her S-Craft. You can't blue orchestrate it. Maybe re like any if you stack HP on one character, they can live through it with blue orchestra, maybe? Because it does like 6k damage. Uh it's like six and a half K. So like one character could live through it, but then what? That, that doesn't like, okay, you live through it. Everyone else is dead. Now they're just going to double attack you to death. So then I was trying to do the fee strat, which kind of works. The biggest problem is getting four BP and being able to time it in such a way that you're able to use it right after she enhances because if you use it too early then you waste it and if you use it too late then well you die so the fee strat is also just super inconsistent and it was really frustrating to spend you know have a good run going and then it's just like oh you don't have four bp you didn't get the unbalances you needed to um but blue orchestra is a lot easier to get because you only need to get one extra unbalance compared to two but I think the way we ended up actually beating it, I'm, I'm sadly, I don't think I got all that footage recorded. Um, but yeah, that seems to be the strat is have everyone die. Let Elliot come out. Or like you start with Elliot in the front to survive the initial onslaught. Well, no, 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 no. You don't have Elliot out. I'm trying to remember how I did it. Cause I know for a while I did have Elliot in the front just so that he could like pop his ult midway through that opening barrage of attacks but i can't remember what happened there i think it was the elliot had almost died and then i swapped him out for fee can't really remember <sighs> i should have expected as much from someone who's reached mastery of the arsaid school like all the runs are kind of like flowing together in my brain but essentially what happened is it was Elliot was in the back line. He came out after everyone died. They lost Reen. As Reen was getting smacked down, ulted, brought everyone back, plus healed Reen. Then with Reen having all the extra CP generation, he was able to use ults to keep himself alive with the regen. It seems you have improved your skills as well. A lot of it was just a fuck ton of luck. Like, there were so many auto-tier procs. There was a couple times we just barely lived with, like, just a nugget of HP. I still haven't reached her level. Good luck on the statuses. Uh, we never got Deathblowed on Reen. I mean, we had Oberon equipped as our secondary, but that's still only a 50% chance. Mm, that Heavy Blade guy's pretty good. And that musician support isn't bad either. But, hey, Ashen guy, why are you holding back? Need some help? <gasps> I won't let you. Oh. What are the Constellation Snipers? Oh, is that a... I mean, he has a name. He doesn't really have like a face or anything, but it's that dude, the sniper guy from Azur. I'm assuming Damn that's it. like the same person. Oh, it's the Star Raider too. See, now, now the- Are they the Stall Ritter? Now the Ouroboros are getting saved in a cutscene, kind of. The other members. It does seem a little, like, anticlimactic to introduce, uh, the two other members after we've already beaten Duvali four fucking times in the Cold Steel games now. I am called Enus the Stout. Because they were, like, the joke bosses before Duvali, who was a joke boss in Azur. It is an honor to meet the successor of the Arsaid School. I'm Anea the Sharp. <laughs> Thank you for playing with our dear Duvali. D don't treat me like a child! There's no need to be courteous to the Arsaid girl. Yeah, Gareth, that's it. Regimental Commander Gareth of the Red Constellation. I've come to assist the young miss. Man, Daddy always worries too much. But whatever. We're back to five on five. 
It seems like our enemy is just sitting around checking us out, so we may as well get to killing. I Very guess this well. is when the, the kids come in? I don't really know what they're gonna do. I mean, one Panzer Soldat, I don't know if that's really enough. It's, this is probably, we're probably gonna get to summon Valimar soon, right? Because we haven't even gotten our Valimar tutorial yet. If we're lucky, we may even meet the conditions to start it up. Enemy? She's not talking about us? Yeah, I don't know who they're waiting for. The conditions to start what? Coming through! Oh, okay. I mean, that's Ash, but like, what? I just don't feel like the Panzer Soldats are all that strong. The voice! Is that Ash from Class 8? I feel like we've kind of we established that Ouroboros can beat those up Let's pretty go. easily. Based on like, <laughs> yesterday in game. Oh my! Damn hatchlings! It's actually like kind of stupid Black that Kurt Rabbit. and uh, you're here. Kurt and Yuna can even attempt to fight the Star. I mean, it's weird because like I want to dunk on everyone. I want to dunk on the Star Ritter for being like joke bosses in Azur, but I also I don't think Kurt and Yuna should be able to fight them, like at all. Long time no see. Altina at least. I kind of get because Altina is, you know, technically strong. She's just been nerfed down through the game. Altina, Kurt, Yuna, stop! You need to get back. We won't. The music's banging. You told me I needed to find what lies beyond. I spent my life wishing I was more like my father and brother. I watched as my purpose was taken away. It's possible I'm wrong, but as far as I'm concerned. This is what lies beyond. <laughs> Kurt. Kurt, her auto attacks will kill you. We understand you can't live this through is a, a violation one. of orders. However, since we received valuable information, we came to offer support. After all, special ops missions require us to make judgment calls depending on the situation. That's... Ali, you too. Sorry we went against your orders, Instructor Reen. But don't you remember? You said it yourself! You told us to find an identity for our class that's all our own. We may not have skill or resolve yet, but we decided among the three of us that we'd come and help. <sighs> <laughs> you guys! <laughs> this is most definitely a Class 7. Pretty funny to see Rain on the other end of one of his own speeches. <laughs> Ugh, That's pretty good. What's with all this schmaltzy drivel? <laughs> oh, come on. They're having fun. It would have been great to just really go at it with everyone. But maybe now that the situation's nice and warmed up, it'll work. Whoa there, little Miss Warcrime. <laughs> Don't go getting any ideas. Okay, Ash, you went up the power rankings just for that one line. You seem like you might be a real monster, but I'm not just going to sit by and let you do whatever you want. <laughs> you seem fun. Even though you're in a Panzer Soldat, you haven't let your guard down. <laughs> well, I'm told the armor's a bit thinner than a tank's. And thanks to your little lesson the other day, I know taking a shot from a Panzer Faust is no good. So thanks for that. Not planning on taking any hits from that crazy looking weapon of yours either. <laughs> oh, I bet Daddy would like you. But can you buzz off for now? Why, you? Probably not a good idea to get mad. Okay, this is our Valimar the hell? thing. Behind me? Ah! Ash? What in the world? Is that another archaism? The Super Dreadnought. It's enormous. I mean, I guess. Looks even bigger than a Goliath. An Ion. This is the newest model the Machine Crossbell had during their bid for independence. The one that destroyed the entire 5th Armored Division. This is the thing a Selenim fought? 
How's it moving without a Septarian? Yay! It's a huge success! I mean, Lloyd and them also fought one, and they didn't have a mech to help them out. Now to see how many of its functions will work. So, just, just saying, just put a little respect on my boy's name. Huh? Guess you're up, huh? Yeah. There's no way we can allow them to let this thing loose. Very well. I shall leave this to you. Looking forward to seeing him again. I mean, if it was Lloyd, he'd just be like, you know, strap on the Tonfas and get to work. But, you know, I guess you can summon your mech. <laughs> if, you, if you need that. Could it be? Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! I do like I how canonically, like, Lloyd is probably the weakest of the three protagonists. But, like... In terms of what he actually does in the story, like the, the enemies that Lloyd and the gangs fight, he's actually like by far the strongest. <laughs> hey, it's moving on its own. Uh, hey, what's going on? Valimar, did Reem call for you? Indeed, it seems a powerful enemy has appeared. The students are there with them. You should all make your way there as well. And I have no clue what time we're at. I think we're not that far. It's just like the last like two hours have just run together in my brain. Amazing! <laughs> so this is the power of the Chosen One's Night. I'd heard stories, but seeing it firsthand is pretty crazy. I didn't expect it to have such mobility. Major Irving, Instructor Randolph. We should contact the RMP and the Provincial Army. Let's ask them to watch this place so we can all head to the scene. What? Class 9, you're on popcorn procurement. Huh. Roger that. But that's... Instructor Reen's... The Ashen Knight. It's been a while. Damn! It came flying here all the way from camp! Can you, like, teleport or something, Oh, though? wow! So this is the Divine Knight I've heard so much about. I guess it's not far it's enough here, to justify it. But we planned for this, too. But it would have definitely been a cool entrance if he has teleported in. Green Felimar! That thing destroyed an entire armored division. Whatever you do, be careful. Yeah! This will be our first battle together in some time. Further, the opponent seems to be quite powerful. Yeah, I can sense a strange flow of power in it. It's different from a Panzer Soldat, or even a Divine Knight. Let's start by seeing what it can do. I mean, this is it's pretty nice to just kind of sit there waiting for us. Well, I mean, I guess we'll use Valimar. I don't think I have much of a choice. <laughs> Oh, he is a he is big. Three, reduce the enemy's HP to eighty percent. It's my turn. Okay, we got spirit. So that's just for heal. We got charge, get HP. So far, this seems to be basically the same. Oh, morning moon. Ugh. You can seal, lower defense, and impede. Okay, uh... It's down! An opening! He do be kind of... He be schmackin'. A Super Dreadnought Archaeism War of Wars is testing. The successor to the model that wiped out a division of Calvert's army. What? Did, did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. When did Ouroboros wipe out a division of Calvert's Ar- Oh, they're talking about the Aeons from, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah, from Azur. I thought, I thought it was, like, something more recent, I guess, but... I mean, you're kind of blocking with your arms? I feel like I should just defend. <sighs> uh... 
It's my turn. We're gonna be here for a while, won't we? Okay, so there's no reason. It's got max unbalance, so there's no reason not to hit you. Now, an opening. Did it hit you? Power diminishing. Ah, you're so spirit charge advised. Nah, that's that's a dumb idea out of there. Let's go. Spirit. Now we do it. Because if we did it right then, it's my turn. You would have gotten absolutely molly walked out of there. Do I mean to do that? An opening. Power diminishing. You're fine. Use of spirit You're... charge advised. Uh... All right, Valimar. I'm up. You keep talking shit. You're gonna Spirits. make me mad. Let's go. Okay, this is fine. Recharge. Power we're, diminishing. We're fine. Use we're fine, Valimar. Charge. Spirit. It's my turn. Now, bring it on! Take this! Take this! It's down! An opening! It's my turn! Valimar, you may have noticed we're not doing any damn damage. Uh, I'm up! Have you been eating too many robot Twinkies? Recharge! I think I'm dead, yeah. It's no use. Um... I'm up! Valimar, you don't do any damage. Now, an opening. Have they finally? Have we finally gotten the technology go. to save the unbalanced efficiencies after battle? This does impede. There, done. Sit. I guess that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, that seems like a really dumb Power idea. Diminishing. I don't think we should do Use that. Spirit charge advised. Uh, I'm up. Spirit. Let's go! Uh, it's my turn! Spirit! Let's go! Uh, these up. these still kinda suck. Recharge! Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Spirit! It's my turn! I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm up! Cause I'm just like in a death spiral. Power diminishing. Use of spirit. I can still spirit. I can't spirit. It's my turn. Recharge. I mean, I'm not doing anything. Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. It's my turn. It's my turn. Recharge. I mean, I can't do anything. It's no use. All I can do is just constantly heal and defend. Or else I just die. It's my turn. Yeah, now, an opening. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, it's my turn. Sit. Now, an opening. Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Uh, it's my turn. Sit. It's down! An opening! It's my turn! Uh, I can't spear it! It's my turn! Uh, Power diminishing! Spirit! Use of spirit chucking! Like I just I don't I just keep taking so much fucking damage. I mean, I guess what we could try. I mean, I assume seal works. Huh. It's down. An opening. Should have finished. Huh. Now. Do we get anything at five? An is there like a special, or is that not a not unlock yet? Are we just died? It's not no bad. Use. I should have obviously known he was gonna get the double move. I'm up. Yeah. Now. An opening. Yeah. I'm up. It's my turn. Huh. It's down. An opening. Why are these Power so bad? Use of spirit charge advised. Uh, Let's go. Spirit. It's my turn. Like I just, I don't know what to do. I mean, like, yeah, okay, I can impede you. Now, an opening. What does this accomplish? It accomplishes me taking 30k Power damage. Diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Okay, so that's obviously not what we're supposed to be doing. Spirit! 
It's my turn. That's it. Healing strike. Okay. I can still fight. Seal, as you can see, uh, does absolutely fucking nothing. Glad to glad to see that's the case. Recharge. It's no use. Like I mean, I sealed him, and he still got to do his thing. That's cool. Let's go. That's cool. I don't even know why I did it. It's my turn. Now. Wait, like, does this cancel you out? No. Power diminishing. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage. Spirit. It's my turn. Like the damage output isn't actually that high for like it being a special move. It. Strike. It's my turn. Uh, Power diminishing. Use spirit. spirit charge at bottom. I just, it's my like, turn. I don't know what you want from me. Okay. Let's go. Recharge. Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge at bottom. Spirit. I'm up. Uh, it's my turn. It's down! An opening! I can't lose! Uh, now obviously you can lose, Rain. I can't lose! Because that's what's happening right now, is you're getting your ass beat. Recharge! I don't... It's no use. Maybe it's just like, I, I don't Let's know. Go. I mean, the Valamar shit was like boring. It's I mean, it down. was better in CS2. It's my turn. But like, I don't know. I kind of want to blame the difficulty mod <laughs> a little bit. Because like the, the Valimar fight, the one in CS1 was absolutely dog shit as well. Um. <sighs> it's my turn. Sit. It's down. An opening. Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Because, I mean, I think the Val... I mean, just based on this one fight, the Valimar fights are the only thing I found maybe superior in the CS2 difficulty mod over the, this one and the one for one. This fucking blows ass. I mean, lowering defense doesn't do anything. Like, he just he's just going to burn it off instantly, and you're not going to get the follow-up and do anything. It's my turn. Yeah. Now. I can't lose. Uh, I spirit. It's my turn. Heal it now. An opening. Power diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Uh, I can still f spirit. I can still fight. There's like this minor problem where he keeps fucking double hitting me, and there's nothing I can do, dude. Get back! It's no use. I'm up. Huh. It's dead. An opening. It's my turn. I just I don't why. Ooh. These fights don't have to be absolute ass. Like, it's not like, is it like contractually obligated? That they have to be super unfun? Also, I did not mean to charge I mean, it doesn't matter, but. Let's go! It's an opening! Let's go! Let's go! I mean, Morning Moon doesn't do anything. It's it's just like not worth. It's like a thousand damage for ninety CP, basically. Recharge. And then he just double punches you, and then you die. It's no use. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm Extra Cheese eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next part, and bye, guys.